Alrighty folks, welcome to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing Charters YouTube channel. I'm down here at the boat ramp on a flooding full moon high tide with of course the dredge people right outside the boat ramp. And I'm going to show you a little something when it comes to line cutting, cutting braid. Cutting mono. I've always in a search for the perfect tool. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you've probably realized that I have been on a quest for quite a while. Well, I'm going to show you. I am going to show you the latest thing I have found to cut line and cut line good. I want to go fish. Takes my stress away. I wanna go fishing. Try and cast my blues away. I wanna go fishing. I don't want to watch the clock. I wanna go fishing. I don't ever wanna stop. You know, I'm always looking for that perfect line cutter. All over the boat. I have got some little Mora blades like this. Eh, they get a little rusty, but they're pretty good. All over the boat, I've got these. But I wanted always something EDC wear. Something to always have on me. And I just found this. Check it out. It's flat. It's comfortable to wear. It's got a great sheath and you pull it out and there's the cutter and let me show you how well this works because I get really tired of those rusty crappy five dollar braid shears and I know you all are gonna have oh I got this idea I got this idea for you well this is my idea I can literally have this on my side where is it? Walk into a doctor's office or something and nobody's gonna care. All right, here is 30 pound, 30 pound line tied to a hook. Very easy, boom. And it might leave a little bit right there you can still take that off and it comes right off let's say you're tying on a hook don't mind the half a glove here it's protecting my thumb because I whacked the heck out of my thumb with another knife while I was stropping it there's the tag end um, I don't know if you can see it or not there's the tag end go in grab the tag leaves you just enough little bit right there so this has some serious practical applications for me cutting braid I cut and re-rig lines 25 times a day and I wanted something that would really do some cutting without all the corrosion and that those two blades are replaceable and they're ceramic and this works as an emergency line cutter just swipe and it will cut anything I mean good God are those sharp so this is called a sharp cut and what got me was the sheath I really I'm not I'm not in love with the color. I love the sheath because all you do is put it in and it's really flush. And we'll go over a little bit more on a tabletop review or a show and tell back at the Wolf Den.
60 pound mono all day long like nothing and it does braid <laughs> even easier I d I'm so sick and tired of those braid scissors so I found this this thing looks like this will last forever no rusting no nothing and super easy to carry Here's a serious fisherman hint for you. When you're at home and you're stropping your cold steel 4 Max, that is absolutely deadly sharp. When you're stropping your 4 Max at home and you cut the whole front of your thumb and then you got a charter or you're going fishing, well, the next time you're in Walmart, pick up a bunch of these cheap plastic front spandex gloves. I did, and the real reason I actually picked them up, besides for using them for like fish cleaning or whatever when the water's cold or whatever, is I literally bought them so I could put them on when I do cut myself and protect my thumb or my finger or whatever. And look, Cut it down. Yep. You know, you always have to cut yourself with your brand new cold steel. You know, you gotta break it in right. Back in the wolf den one more time. Here we are, back at home. Got the thumb taped up. It's not really bad, it's just an inconvenient spot. It is, I cut myself right here. Here's the culprit, the cold steel 4MAX. And I noticed right here, I gotta clean it, there's still some blood. I may do sort of a reviewish on this titanium G10 stainless steel. Look at that thing. My God. Okay, we'll talk about that along with a partner that it's going to have in another video. Flying Cutter is officially called the DGX. Is it DGX? Yeah, DGX sh Sharp Cut. And here's how it comes. 
via Amazon, via my Tools of the Trade page, where when I review something, that's where it goes. It's an affiliates page. I named it Tools of the Trade page because many of the things that I use daily on my boat and have worked out all the kinks are on there, and you get to benefit. At the same time, when you shop my Tools of the Trade page on Amazon, you are helping to support this channel to do things like this. Like this show and tell, a review, stuff like that. I've got many items from reels, rods, to strops, to, to sharpening stones, to basic fishing tools that I can't live without. And now here's another one, all on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. It'll be linked below in the video description where it says, show more on a computer. Or if you're a phone head, on the YouTube app, there is a little tiny, tiny arrow. Hit that, and it'll open up the video description page. That's what I refer to as the meat and potatoes of almost every YouTube video. Because whoever's doing the video wants to be able to give you links and things like that for additional information. So, here we are, the DGX Sharp Cut, up close and personal. What immediately sold me on this was not only the fact that it is a fantastic cutter, but the carrying option, as you saw on my boat footage. I always say, sheaths on knives, sheaths on pliers, anything, are like tires on a 4x4 four four truck. You're not going to make it through that big mud bog without the correct tires. You could have the most baddest four-wheel drive truck, the most powerful, the best suspension, independent suspension, greatest everything. And if you've got crap tires, you're not making it through that giant mud puddle. That's the way it is with knives and pliers and things like that. The carry option is so important because you could love the knife, but if the sheath is for crap, then what's the, what's the uh, alternative? What, go find or have a sheath built? Or what are you going to do, you know? This really sold me. This is for divers. It's got an elastic, thick elastic band on the back to put on a belt loop this way, or part of the actual case has a belt loop going in this way. It's very tight going in this way. Okay, what is so cool is deployment. You know, I guess, you know, I'm not a diver. I can't afford two expensive sports at the same time. You know, I'm a um, knife addict, a fishing addict, an aluminum boat addict. I can't afford to do diving too, but I like dive items because they sort of cross into the marine environment for me. So that's how I found this. Velcro, pull the tab, and out it comes. This is a Cordura sheath. It's very tough, very quality, good Velcro. You got this big strap to hold on to, finger grooves, and... The thickness seems to be just about right for when you're, you hold a tag end or something and you can clip it. 
as you saw in one of the little pieces of footage there, I was tying up egg sinkers onto leaders, and you can literally grab something and just hold it tight like this and go boop, and you can cut the tag end off. You don't even have to hold it. You don't even have to hold it. Probably more than the average guy out there on a weekend, I'm, you know, I am cutting leaders and re-rigging rods constantly, especially if we're fishing at the jetties and people are dulling their hook, banging into rocks and getting stuck in the bottom and everything. So as I jokingly said in the caption, I re-rig leaders and lines and everything in my sleep at night. That's the joke. We've got two ceramic, super duper sharp blades inside there. Ceramic is harder than steels, non-corrosive, and basically non-dulling. You could chip it. It chips and it breaks very easily. If I took this thing out, possibly, and threw it on the concrete, this might actually crack. Do not stick your fingers in there. It's got, to me, looks like stainless steel hardware. I, I'm assuming stainless steel hardware. And you can change this out. It'll split open. It'll split open and you can change them out because they give you spare blades. All this for 20 bucks, free shipping to Prime people. Now, here's where I need my thumb. This little case, I noticed this little case is tighter than Dick's hat band. There's what the blades look like, folks. Let's feel it. Oh yeah, I'm, I don't want to even touch it. I'm a little spooked. So you can change out the blades if you cracked one or chipped one. Oh yeah. There you can see what they look like. They go right in there. This is a very quality product. You get replaceables, and I don't see anybody replacing these any to anytime soon. Uh, this could work as a strap cutter. All right, let's do a little testing with this braid. This is some heavy braid. I think this is 65 pound, if not more. Okay, cuts it no problem. Oh yeah, no problem, look at that. Cuts braid, no problem. Another ultimate test, 80 pound, 100% mason hard type nylon that I make my strong arm rigs out of. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can just do this. Free, there's just a free piece. Oh yeah. Now, let's little step this up a notch. Here is 200 pound mono, shark leader, 200 pound shark leader mono. Oh yeah, and it even, if you go on an angle like that, it even does a nice little pointy edge. You can see that. And you know what? That's better than having a blunt, crushed tip. Because when I'm re-rigging re or rigging up shark leaders, when you crush this with cutters, it never wants to go through the crimp. So, cutting it on an angle. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you folks, I'm so excited about this thing. This is fantastic. And you know, like I said, it's all about a little, it's all a little about EDC. 
I can wear this. I'm cutting stuff when I'm at home. I'm re-rigging rods and reels at home. I'm re-rigging stuff on the boat in the driveway. I'm constantly rigging stuff. This works as everyday carry. And that is secure on there. Oh, this is one of my better finds. Look at that. Look how thin profile that thing is. I mean, I'm actually, I get excited over stuff like this. There you go. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this little video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It just bothers me that there's these knife video guys that don't really, they don't do anything. And I'm out fishing, I'm out looking for better products. These guys buy knives, and here's what they do. Okay, this is a great knife. This is a great knife. Let me flip it. Let me flip it. Oh, yeah, this is a great knife. Oh, yeah. Look at the pocket clip. And they're getting 10,000 views a month. You know. So, I try to do much more than that. Right? And, um... I want to pass on things to you that are helpful. So, if you can, help me out. I think, you know, the old, the old hurt thumbs up helps. Look at the link below. Check it out. This will go on the Tools of the Trade page. I was almost thinking about putting it on my newest playlist, which is called Captain Gadget. But I think this is more than a gadget. I've literally got some gadgets that I will be filling that new playlist with. Captain Gadget. As we go on through 2019. But I don't believe this is a gadget. This is a serious tool that I find very useful on the boat. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.